And slowly you come to realize. What type of an FA Cup semi final are you expecting this weekend? Tough game. I think uh, <clears throat> we will play again uh, one of the best teams in Europe. Great manager, great player. Player that won European competition, World Cups. I think we are going to play again one of the best teams in Europe. After such a strong season, do you feel that you need to win a trophy? to show for it and what impact would beating Chelsea this weekend have on the title running? Um, I think that um, it's true that we are doing a good season on Premier League and on FA Cup. It's true that uh, we feel a little bit disappointed about the Champions League. I think it was uh, in a period that uh, was uh, we struggled a little bit to compete in that moment when we compete against Monaco and and you can see now Monaco where he is in the semi-final. We were competing with a very good team. But it's true, maybe we feel a little bit disappointed about that competition, but uh, I think in, in Premier League or in FA, in FA Cup, uh, now we have the chance to fight uh, for a big things. But uh, for us, it's more important now to be focused and spend energy and try to, to enjoy the game, to play uh, under our philosophy and try to, to learn, grow up. I think we are in different process and in different um, momentum than, than Chelsea. Uh, impossible to compare both club, uh, both, both team. It's a big challenge for us to compete uh, with one of the best team on the on Europe, on the FA Cup semi-final and, and fighting for the, the Premier League too. Danny Rose training outdoors now. How is he getting on? Is he still targeting a return against Arsenal in 10 days? Ah, Arsenal, maybe. Uh, but for Saturday, no. How's he getting on in training? Oh, it's OK. He's OK. Uh, he's doing well. I still know with the group, but uh, he's in a, in a very good uh, level. Just wondering if you could clarify another player, Maurizio. What is the latest on Toby Alderweireld's future at the club? Has he turned down the offer of a contract extension? Offer? What? Has there been an offer of a contract extension for Toby? I don't understand. Offer for who? Toby. Have an offer. Asking yeah. Has the club sat down and offered him an extension to his you contract? You asked me if we made the offer to him? Yes. Or we, he rejected the offer? I was getting to that bit, but yeah, has he rejected <laughs> an offer? It's a, it's a question for yes, me. Yes, yes. I never speak about rumour, so it's a, another rumour that many rumours. So have Inter Milan come in for him? Go to speak with Daniel. He's coming. Some club, his interest in some uh, player is very clear that need to go to knock the door of Daniel Levy. <laughs> but do you expect Toby to stay at Tottenham beyond the summer? About the player, I think the player that will um, leave the club is always our decision, is club decision. And I think all the players today, I think all the players have contract for the next uh, two, three years minimum. And it's, uh, we are not worried about the player. And uh, I invite all the club that want to want some player from Tottenham that uh, came to the training ground and visit our chairman, Daniel Levy. But just to be clear, you want him here, don't you? There's no doubt about that. <laughs> I think Toby is playing. And that is the second season on the club. Um, I think nobody have doubt about Toby, no? Okay. Okay. Any more questions, Karen? Richard, first of all, in February, after the disappointment of the Champions League, you were asked about this team being ready to lift a trophy, and you said that you, this team have exceeded expectations um, and have pushed expectations higher. And you said, maybe we need to wait, like laying the foundations in the stadium, to be patient. 
Yes, I think it's a, it's a nice synthesis, a nice word to say we are ready and we want to win. Uh, but it's not an easy task. It's, it's so difficult to win trophies. And um, three years ago when we signed here, was uh, I remember the first few press conferences, all it was to try to... Uh, you are asking how we can reduce the gap with the top four. That was the main problem that Tottenham had. And uh, I think after uh, nearly three years, not only we reduce the gap with the top four, if not, we are fighting for for the Premier League or win some title. That is in the in the in the position that uh, we want it to be, and um, I think we achieved that. Now to win uh, will be more more difficult because you are competing with big size, big clubs, uh, big player. And, but I think the, to achieve and to reach the, that level that you challenge and you fight a team like Chelsea uh, when you compare the the budget the player that uh, win trophies uh, and they have players that won the World Cups and I think if you compare all with our players we still not uh, win nothing maybe some player win some title but that is about to, to improve we are improving a lot um, first of all you must to to be there and uh, be close and, and 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 have the possibility to challenge. We have today the possibility to challenge with the big team to try to win some title, and then it's up to us to try to to step up and uh, and make that uh, that dream uh, reality. I was lucky enough to sit down with Chris Hutton who has now got Brighton into the Premier League, favourites to get promoted last season, but he said what has been crucial is having the momentum at the end of the season. That dropped off for them, they had to go to the playoffs, and that was pivotal. Let's talk about your momentum right now. Yes, I, I want to congratulate him and, and Brighton, of course, for the to promote to the Premier League. He is a very lovely person, and uh, I see all the Tottenham fans and family love, love him and we love a lot and uh, yes of course when he is a very uh, he's a great manager uh, great uh, football people and uh, yes i agree with him is to keep the momentum is very important in football and now we are in the last period of the competition we are involved in two competition it will be fantastic to keep that momentum and try to to translate that momentum in, in good result and positive result to try to to achieve that big things that we we are uh, we are finding. No? In a in an interview of being sports a couple of weeks ago, you said that the only problem in football is not if the players are too tired. It's all in the mind. It's all mental. What's your team's mentality like right now? Well, today we are in a good in a very good uh, level mental level um, faith belief. I think uh, are important word. Uh, <coughs> But the most important is to, to feel the faith and the belief. And when you feel and it's uh, running in your body, in your blood, uh, that is the most important. Um, and then it's football, and then it's a, it's a game that uh, you need to give your best, uh, play better than your opponent. And we'll see if we are capable to, to show Saturday that uh, we deserve on the end to go to the, to the final. <coughs> You're going to face the leader again in, in different competitions, the Premier League leader, leader in different competitions. Do you think, is there any <coughs> reflection from Saturday result to the title race of Premier League? No, I think um, who knows how affect the, the result Saturday. Uh, it's impossible to guess. I think the most important is to now to be focused 100% on the, on the game, try to be better than them. Uh, yes, of course, will be a very tough game, uh, they have a great player, a great manager, and um, we'll see what happens after, but now is uh, Saturday is a final, it's a semi-final cup, but it's a final, because it's not, if you don't win, it's not, uh, you go home and, uh, and forget the competition. Um, for us it's a final, uh, we must to show that it's a final from the first moment uh, on the game, uh, seen uh, being uh, aggressive and, and play and try to play in, 
under our philosophy and mentality and uh, compete, enjoy, enjoy the game. I think to have the possibility to play semi-final again, one of the best teams on, on Europe, I think not too much uh, uh, time can happen. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity, a very exciting that uh, arrives Saturday. Tom, so you said that Tottenham is a show that they've grown up uh, this season, what, what do you mean by that? No, I think we we are showing that we learn from last season, and, and I think if we are so um, only uh, we see the date or the stat, I think we improve a lot. Uh, we we now uh, after uh, with six games to play on Premier League. I think we, we achieved 71 points when last season we finished with 70, 70 points. I think uh, we improved. That is the, re the reality. And then the team, I think, is playing in a, in a good way. Good football, exciting football, scoring goals. Concede not too much uh, chance and goals. I think we are in a, in a great momentum and to give the momentum is more, uh, that is the most uh, important because you know in football can change uh, very quick all and uh, but it's true that now is the moment like it was last season no uh, to show and to translate all that feeling all that stats in reality and only you can you can say on the end of the season if you grow up or you uh, learn if you win some title or if you maybe are very close to win the league or the or the title like uh, the FA Cup. But that is the, the most uh, difficult step to, <coughs> to achieve. You said that the Chelsea players have won their, all their titles and trophies in the World Cup. Does that mean you think the expectation is more on them this weekend? I think the expectation, because we create our own expectation, uh, we feel uh, that we can compete with them, that is important. And then the expectation outside of the team or of the, or the club, uh, you cannot manage that expectation. Only you can see the reality. If you are outside of the club, the both club, you can see and you can compare uh, uh, the two different clubs, two different uh, culture, philosophy and, 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 and project. And, and then all, uh, everyone can uh, have uh, their opinion, but I think our expectation is to win because we are ambitious and um, we know very well our, uh, our uh, strength and our things that we, m we need to improve and um, yes, only, only us, we know that, um, that the pressure is uh, try to win every game and and we are thinking in, in big things. Uh, that is the most the most important. You always want your players to, to play with, with passion and, 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 and desire. I just wonder, after what happened last season with Chelsea and this season now with Chelsea, do you think this rivalry for Tottenham is, is as big as, as Arsenal now, do you think? Uh, sorry? Uh, uh, the rivalry between Tottenham and Chelsea now, do you think it's as strong as the rivalry between Tottenham and, and Arsenal? No, my feeling is all want to challenge us and all are feel that are our rivals. And today to beat uh, Tottenham is a big, big challenge for everyone. That is, is a good, uh, very good news for, for us. It means that something important is, is growing up here. And uh, that feeling is good. I like <coughs> this feeling. And... Um, no, I think all that happened in the last <coughs> few seasons, I think, uh, make us stronger and um, um, how I, I told you before, it's important uh, to show that we are clever and intelligent and use all that happened in the past to try to be better. And um, yeah, for us, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big thing that the people include Tottenham in, in that uh, level of uh, the club like Chelsea, uh, City, United, Liverpool, Arsenal, I think means a lot, and because we are uh, um, in, in in complete different uh, project and 
and I think uh, make us very, very, very proud. And lastly, do you see Wembley this weekend as an advantage or, or a disadvantage? I, I will tell you after <laughs> the game. I think that was when we compete uh, this season on, on, on Wembley, I think we compete in a, a new competition for us uh, that was the Champions League and then the Europa League. I think you know, uh, uh, we play with uh, 10 all the half time and how we play and how we deserve to go to the next round. I think it was a little bit unfair, but that is, is football. It's true that we struggle a little bit to, to get a good result there, but we, we need and to, to make Wembley our home, to get that feeling, good opportunity Saturday again to compete there. And um, because if we will move, uh, is next week uh, the club decide and all uh, happen in the way that we hope. Um, in the season we will move there, and in that moment it's not excuse uh, to to play well and to perform in a, in the way that we are performing now. Okay. Okay. Take one from Satish. You of the four uh, semi-finalists, Tottenham are the form team. Does that make you? the favourites for the semi-final and does it put any pressure on you to win the tournament itself? I feel always the pressure, the same pressure because uh, my feeling is always when I play I don't s never see my opponent is uh, belief in, in, our, in our team and our skill but you know I, I think it's not favourite if it's one favourite it's more Chelsea because it's on the top of the table in Premier League and, um, and the experience uh, player that they have and the coach and the manager that they have um, we are talking that the, the team that maybe um, in the last uh, five years won Euro European competition uh, uh, World Cups manager that uh, won the league uh, with Juventus in, in uh, Italy and I think it's more experienced uh, team than us, but we are uh, we are in a good momentum, um, hungry team, and um, to challenge now this type of, of club of team, I think is a very important thing for Tottenham. And um, yes, we are going there, uh, trying to play in our way and trying to win and go to the to the final and then we we'll see but it's important to enjoy the game and I think uh, the fact to go to play the semi-final uh, against Chelsea is uh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a happiness uh, we must to, to feel the happiness because it's a very important competition that we are fighting with the best team on the on the on England and uh, <coughs> make us very very happy and very proud to feel Mauricio, we understand that Michael Keane will be leaving Burnley at the end of the season. Is he someone that you're in talks to sign? You're interested in signing? What about Douglas Costa at Bayern Munich? Do you fancy him it's as a well? Lot, it's a many rumour, eh? I cannot speak about rumours because if uh, if I am uh, will be focused in one rumour, maybe we need to speak uh, about uh, not only on player and myself on, on different things. And I think it's. Today we must to be focusing in Saturday and the end of the season and all that happen about player in, player out, you will you will know when, when we finish the the season. And just finally about the PFA team of the year. You've got four players in that team. Kane, Ali, Walker and Rose. Your thoughts on that? Clearly some fans felt there could have been even more Tottenham players in that team. Do you know? I'm happy. For, for them, happy for, for Tottenham. Maybe, uh, I, ¿cómo se dice? Siento que faltan algunos. Yeah? I'm missing someone from us, I think. <laughs> but, you know, that is, I think, that uh, I don't care too much. Yeah. I think, uh, like the, when the people decide the manager of the months, I think it's. I think it's more trophy for the club. It's not for one manager or for some player that are competing, you know, for for win title. I think that is good because it's uh, about our business. But I don't care too much. I don't care too much.